It is evident that Lady May is a special woman. She is one of God's masterpieces. She is God's woman. She is the first lady of the Church of God in Christ. May I ask you to stand as it gives me great pleasure to present Lady May Blake. And thank you. What shall I render to the Lord for all of the benefits and blessings that he has bestowed and granted to me? I give him my tremendous thanks, and for that I am so grateful. With a grateful heart, I am delighted to greet you once again. Thank you to the lovely Madam Doris Brooks for such a wonderful introduction. I honor God and I give him the highest praise and I thank him for being alive and for being here with each of you tonight. Bishop Blake, we honor you and we thank God for your magnificent leadership and direction. And honor also to Bishop Brooks and Bishop Macklin and to all members of the general board and other national officials, and I honor all of you. And great honor to the precious Mother Willie Mae Rivers. Let's give her some more love. She deserves all of the love that we can give, and we are so happy and proud of her. And also her excellent assistants, Mother Young and Mother King. And high regards to you, Missionary Vanessa Macklin. And my supervisor, Mother Barbara McCool Lewis. And you know, this entire meeting has been awesome. So awesome. And Mother Rivers, we thank you so much for your leadership. Now, men, you may listen in on this, but I would like to share a little word of encouragement to all of these beautiful women around here. Now, women, as you know, Proverbs 31 and 10 speaks especially about you as women of power, women of strength, women of spirit, and women full of mental energy and resiliency, and which is the power to bounce back up when you are down and quickly to recover when your spirits are low. And it speaks of each of you as women of wisdom. And it speaks of each of you as a woman who is so valuable to yourself and to those around you that no amount of money or precious stones are equal to your worth. And in the midst of the many obstacles and problems that are dumped on us daily, we can make it. We can make it. Because according to Psalms 27 and 1, the Lord is the strength of our life. He gives us strength and helps us to bear our burdens, women. And we can do it too. You know why? Because we are multidimensional women. And that means we are able to wear many different hats and fill many different roles all at the same time. And we know that believing in ourselves and trusting in God are qualities that we must have in order to cope with our daily dilemmas and our disasters. Because 
As you well know, life is full of potential enemies. Enemies like stress, enemies like tension, and enemies like pressure. And we encounter these enemies every single day. Those situations, women, that you feel are unworkable, and the barriers that you think are uncrossable will not last forever. Because moments of crisis do pass. And we are thankful for the privilege of being in the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because that's where the joy is. That's where the strength is. And that's where the life is. Sitting at his feet and abiding in his presence. So women, take the time each day to refresh your spirit, refresh your mind, and refresh your body. And this time that you give to yourself will be beneficial in minimizing the stressful things that come into your life and maximizing the amount of joy and satisfaction that you receive from your days because no matter how bad it may seem, it is good to be alive. And exceptionally wonderful to be a woman. I love you and may God continue to shower his blessings upon each of you.